If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, you can tell me that you hate my videos, but the best way to do that is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, Fabio Foreign this is French Montana, and Scarface says he was inches away from death because of COVID-19. Plus, Rich the Kid gets arrested. Let's talk hip hop. I'm not jacking. I'm not jacking none of these. I'm not jacking none of what these niggas. Oh, you want the audience? Oh, you want the audience? Nah, I'm not jacking none of these stupid audience. I'm looking at it like this, right? I seen, I seen the nigga, I seen the nigga French Montana today, right? I woke up. I saw the nigga. I saw the nigga post the um second video, bro. This the second video, bro. The second video you post, you got slightly spinning in your videos. Like if he's some type of backup dancer. Like bro, see, niggas don't understand. Niggas don't understand like, niggas don't understand what I understand. Niggas don't get it. You, you giving a nigga, you giving a nigga like, you giving a nigga a little bit of, a little bit of, you know what I mean? Money, probably, whatever, clothes, but you not, you not putting on like, if a nigga gonna put on, if a nigga gonna put on, nigga gonna put on. Like, you gonna do a song with a nigga. You're not about to have my son in videos, dancing, spinning around for to get your shit up. Like, if you a part of the culture, you doing drill beats. All right, so that was a clip of Fabio Foreign on live yesterday, basically talking about French Montana, right? I mean, he's basically saying that he's not feeling French Montana or the way that he's going about things, right? He basically called uh, French Montana industry nigga, and he doesn't like how these industry niggas uh, do things, right? So the whole situation is, um, y'all know, right? Fabio Foreign is from Brooklyn. Um, he was down with like the woos. He was down with like Pop Smoke and everybody like that. Uh, Sosa Geek, all these people like that right um and basically he's saying that french montana is a culture vulture because he's biting off of like a lot of young niggas wave right especially these young niggas from brooklyn that are on these drill beats right so he says look you rapping on drill beats like we rapping on drill beats right and he's like i'm not even mad about that i wasn't even gonna say nothing about that right i'm gonna let you go crazy you want to go crazy you want to try to ride a new wave even though you've been in the game for you know 20 years but you want to ride our wave fine that just shows that you and creative and that you don't know what you're doing and everybody's gonna know that you ride now wave but fine i wasn't even gonna address that right but the crazy thing is that he has one of the woos french montana has one of the woos in his video um dancing around right swipey is in that's a fact video with french montana and french montana just dropped that's a fact right so he's got swipey all in the back doing the shit and all that stuff like that right and uh fabio foreign saw that and didn't say anything about that either right but then he's seen that you know a swipey he is doing multiple TikTok videos dancing around to French Montana's music and everything like that. And Fabio Foreign was just like, I cannot keep quiet anymore. I feel like French Montana is exploiting my people, my friend, my mans in them. You know what you're gonna do? Give them a thousand dollars to dance around in some TikTok videos. What you really need to do is get on a song with him so that you can really put him on, right? Giving him a thousand dollars and letting him dance around in the video is not what he needs. He needs a feature, right? Um, he said that Meek Mill did a feature for us, right? Even Drake did a feature with Sosa Geek and uh, Fabio Foreign, right? But why isn't uh, French Montana doing it, right? He wants to do these drill beats and these drill songs himself, um, and then, you know, just pay a nigga a thousand dollars to dance around in the video like some kind of backup dancer, right? Um, so he woke up this morning, Fabio Foreign, and seen another TikTok video which set his ass off.
I can't play the audio for copyright reasons, but basically uh, they were dancing around to another French Montana song. And then uh, Swipey even announces a contest, some kind of dance contest. Uh, that's a fact challenge. Um, and then whoever wins is going to get a thousand dollars too. So now French Montana and Swipey are doing something together, right? Um, all this and Fabio Forn is like, yeah, that's cool and everything, but you still ain't do a song with my mans. And uh, I'm just upset about it. Like, how could you do this to us, right? Um, so I guess we'll have to see. French Montana did not respond to uh, Fabio Foreign. I'm sure he will, uh, and they're both from New York, so I guess we just gonna have to see, but um, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Feeling good, homie? Hey, man. I'm glad to be alive, bro. You know that glad first conversation? You know the first conversation we had, I relapsed. Right? Yeah, I fought the COVID. I fought, I fought the COVID double uh, bilateral pneumonia in both lungs, and kidney failure in my house. Yeah, so when it all oh, went back to shit again, I went back to the hospital. I just got out of the hospital one day. Right. If you look on, if you, can you see this? That's my new lifeline. Let me see it. I couldn't see it. So what does that do? That's for dialysis. Uh, that's that's for dialysis. That's my port for dialysis. I'm gonna see if I can move this this thing. All right, so that was Scarface talking to Willie D, right? And Willie D has a podcast which he does, you know, pretty much once a week where he talks to like different people or whatever like that. He had Scarface on there before about a month and a half ago, but now he has Scarface on here again, right? Scarface was diagnosed with COVID-19 about a month and a half ago, right? Um, but he beat it and everything was all good. And he was saying, you know, how he felt like he was going to die back then. He said that he had gotten pneumonia in his lungs, right? Which is exactly what coronavirus does. At first, you know, the first two weeks, you won't feel anything. The next two weeks you feel like you have the flu and then the next two weeks after that you feel like you're going to die because you don't feel like you have the flu anymore it's a dry cough you're not spitting up anything but coronavirus settles in your lungs and you probably you know are going to get pneumonia right and that's when a lot of people die because they can't fight through that pneumonia right um but anyway scarface lived and thank god for that but the whole situation is that he um actually had kidney failure due to coronavirus right and so he explains that you know his kidneys were just fine uh, before he had coronavirus and now he's on dialysis so the whole situation is that I don't know if you know but your kidneys are supposed to like clean your blood right so you know our blood gets dirty because of what we eat what we breathe in what we smoke what we drink whatever right so the kidneys are literally like the washing machine for your blood it goes in one side comes out the other and now the blood's clean to pump through the rest of your body right but if your kidneys fail they can't clean your blood which means that your blood gets thick and it's sluggish and it's like slush and nasty and dirty right so what it does dialysis is what happens is the blood actually comes out of your body through like a tube and this machine the dialysis machine cleans the blood and then they put it back into your body so it's horrible it makes you feel like you're going to die um imagine all your blood coming out of your body and then going back into your body he says that he has to do dialysis four times a week for three hours per day for three hours every time he has to do it right so that's crazy right you're sitting there for three hours just watching your blood go in and then back out of your body and process and clean itself or whatever like that right um very nasty and very ill right the whole thing though is that thank god scarface doesn't have coronavirus anymore um but you know now he might need a kidney transplant because of coronavirus so that's really messed up um let me know what y'all think about this in the comments please don't make rich man i raise tell them fuck police man Fuck 12. Damn, man, they don't get me to Fuck. Turn around, watch your head. Right, so that was a clip of Rich the Kid getting arrested, right? So I'm not exactly sure what happened, right? Um, And, you know, Rich the Kid hasn't said anything. His management or record label hasn't said anything yet, right? Um, he got arrested in LA. He was uh, chilling yesterday, right? He was in his car. He had a face mask on. He was on social media, on his uh, IG story, just chilling, right? Um, and then it looked like he was maybe in the studio, right? Or, or something like that. And then 
all of a sudden he was in handcuffs <laughs> and that's all we know nobody has said anything about this right um you know he might have been shooting a music video because this is crazy that no one knows anything about what's going on with rich the kid right now uh as he's sitting in jail from last night i guess but uh in la but i guess we'll to figure it out later right uh let me know what you think about this and everything else in the comments down below don't forget to like comment share subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell follow me at johnny fastlane on instagram and y'all already know what to do peace